Hello my amazing subscribers, welcome back to my channel. So I get a lot of questions about clip-in extensions and regular extensions. So I'm going to give you guys basically like the backstory of what I had, what I have now, what I don't like, what I do like. Um, so a couple years ago I had regular tape and extensions and it was really in my honest opinion like super hard to deal with they don't really work well for me just because i have a lot of hair as it is and i just wanted the length um i felt like they damaged my hair when i took them out so it wasn't really the best experience for me some people enjoy it i didn't really like it so i had told myself you know what i'm gonna try clip-in extensions and on Instagram, I linked up with my favorite extension company, uh, Bellamy Hair, which I will be tagging below for you guys. And basically, we did a collaboration where they sent me some extensions and I am madly in love with them. Now, these are clip-in extensions and I'm gonna show you guys how I put them in today. Um, I usually just do them because my hair isn't too long. It's not too short, but it's not too long, so I kinda just want some length. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go take a quick body shower and I'm gonna do my makeup and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys how I put in my clip and extensions, blend them and style them. Before I take a shower, I just wanted you guys to know that I had just washed my clip in extensions. They are washable and they're reusable. Like guys, you can reuse them so many times, it's crazy. But I just used a protective shampoo and conditioner on them and now I'm just gonna take the time to blow dry the extensions out just so they're clean and that way we can style them the way that we want to style them. Okay, so now I'm going to run through blowing out the extensions really fast with my Revlon brush that I had recommended to you guys in one of my last videos. So before I get in the shower, I'm going to blow these out really quick. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, did a quick little makeup look, and I threw some dry shampoo in my hair because it was feeling a little bit oily today after you know the shower and everything. So product-wise on dry shampoo, I just found this. I found this at Anthropology, so random. This is the Freshen Up Dry Shampoo by Eva NYC. It's really good, guys, and not only is it like super super good but it smells so yummy so i use that and then obviously i told you guys before my living proof dry shampoo is like probably the best ever anyway so extensions so i blew out the extensions and i washed them and everyone has different hair types so you have to think and everyone has a different size head which sounds weird but some people's heads might be smaller than others so really your amount of extensions and how many you need to use is going to be up to how thick your hair is or how big or small your head is like it all really depends on that so specifically for me it's weird like every time i feel like i'm either using let's see i have one two three four five five or six sometimes i use five sometimes i use six they're all different sizes which i'm going to show you guys but yeah so these are blown out extensions and then I'm going to go in and you know I'm gonna show you guys my secret but hold on step one my hair is already blown out it's actually this is like day three of not washing it so I'm going to put my hair in a middle part pull it all back like to the back of my head and I'm going to grab now I'm gonna make this a little bit easier for some of you who are beginners. You can use a comb like this to kind of like get back here. So you're going to grab a tiny little part of your hair in the back for the first extension. So watch me. I'm going to grab and I'm gonna take the rest of the hair and I'm gonna twist it and pull it up. Just like that. So now all i have here is this first portion of the hair so you have to think about it like this each portion is a different size so from from here to here to here they're different sizes of your head so for this portion i'm going to use i would say this one 
So this one has the three clips, as you can see. All the clips on here come undone, and they all say Bellamy on here, and they come in and out like so. So all you're really essentially doing is you're taking the extension, and first I brush out the extension. Beautiful. Oh, I totally forgot to mention to you guys. So these are the 24 inch extensions in color Butter Blonde, which is just what matches my hair color, but Bellamy does also offer like a ton of different colors and it's amazing guys. You have to go check it out once you're done watching my video. Anyway, so I'm going to unclip each clip just like that. I'm gonna pull the hair back and I'm going to clip those clips in at the root of the head and make sure that they really snap in to that hair that you pulled out and you should hear a click that's the best way to do it and I'm going to pull those forward and you're going to see the length and how amazing they look now I just blew them out so obviously like they're perfect and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to even make them even more perfect. But yeah, so that's step one. Okay, so I'm on step two now. I'm doing the exact same thing with another layer of hair, pulling it up to the scalp, and then pulling the rest of that hair backwards. If you guys wanna see, I'll show you. It should look like this. And you're clipping it up here. Like that. Voila. So this is what it should look like in the back. Okay? So think about it as like layering icing on a cake. Just you're gonna keep layering and layering the extensions to blend into your natural hair. So I'm going to brush out this next second session. So you have to think about it. My head is going from here all the way back. So I would probably use a bigger extension for this piece of my head. So I'm going to grab this one, which is the four clips, which I need to brush out, oh my lord. But they smell so nice and clean, guys. It's so, it's so easy for me to like wash and blow dry the extensions because I'm like doing it, it's so weird like not being on your head, I'm like blowing it out with my hand, but it's so much easier that way. Anyway, so I'm going to undo these clips. One, two, three, four. Same deal. I'm gonna pull the extension back to make this easy and pull it up to the root in the back of my head, just like so. Boom, pull it up to that root. Make sure it's all even. Boom, hear that snap. Make sure you snap it good, guys. Hear that snap. And that is your second layer. Look, look, look at that. So as you can see, it's starting to blend a little bit better with my real hair. Obviously, we still need to keep blending, but so far, so good. And I'm just brushing through, making sure it's all even. It looks good. I'm gonna continue to do this throughout my head and then once I get to the tricky parts, I'll show you guys so we can fast forward until then. This is where it gets a little bit trickier, but I have the extensions in now on the easy parts. So the hard part, it's not really that hard, but I'll show you guys. So you wanna make sure everything blends. So if you can see, you can see my real hair here, which is something that you want to avoid when you're doing extensions. So what I usually do, and this is just my little trick, I take my finger and put it right here and I go all the way back with my finger like so and I twist this hair up so you can really see that root okay 
Now I'm gonna take my smallest extension option, brush it out, make it nice and pretty. And I'm going to unclip. And we're going to line this up perfectly with my scalp, like I had said before, so important. And I'm just creating another layer so that my real hair blends with it a lot better, like so. Same goes with this side, guys. Taking that finger all the way back, twisting up so you can see the root. Wabam, shabam. Brushing the extension. Do my unclip. Go back to that root. I'm putting it nice and tight into the root. Beautiful. Pulling that hair down. Okay guys, so this is what the extensions look like. So basically, lots of hair, lots of volume. Bellamy has a wide range of lengths and um, colors and everything like that, which is so cool because a lot of people struggle finding the color to match correctly to their hair. But Bellamy definitely has like a lot of options. So this is what it's like. And I'm gonna show you the next step. So if you would like more of, I guess it's like a less, well I blew them out, but like a less frizzy vibe, Bellamy has a product that I'm going to show you guys right now. So this is called the Miracle Smoothing Brush by Bellamy. So basically a lot of people use this after they put in their extensions and they feel like they need a little bit more of like a pin straight extension. So basically all you have to do is use this as a regular brush. As you can see, I got the temperature up to 450 degrees, which is amazing. It gets super hot, so beware. But it's actually just like a hairbrush. And guys, it's the easiest straightener I've ever used. Probably easier than a regular straightener. So all I do is I just take the device and I go downward with it or sideways here and you are literally just brushing through the hair. And it's creating heat, which makes the hair straighter. This is honestly so perfect for long extensions like these because it's kind of annoying to have to sit there and straighten like every single piece. And also this is a, um, an amazing, amazing tool for smoothing out like frizzies in your hair. So I also use it at, on my real hair too. Just like this. Just to get those frizzies away in the corners. It's so amazing guys. It's an awesome device. So yeah, I'm just using it to Get all those frizzies away. I'm gonna use it on this side. It's an amazing, amazing hair tool. So I don't, personally, I don't use a straightener anymore because I just use this. Even when I'm not wearing extensions, I use this device. It just makes it so much easier to create a straighter, straighter hair and to also get rid of like the frizzies that I get at the top of my head. If you're blonde, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Those flyaways can be quite annoying, so this really, really helps with that, with those front flyaways. So yeah, just taking it. I like to go from underneath because I feel like it captures more hair. Sorry. But yeah, guys, that's how you're getting your extensions nice and straight. Now obviously these extensions allow you to style them in any way you want. You can do them 
really really curly or you can do them really really straight um and obviously now that i have washed them i'm just going to style them however i want so it is my birthday on monday so this weekend i'm going to be wearing these extensions and now that i have washed them today i'm not going to wash them for the weekend but this is how I do my clip-in extensions. And the amazing part about clip-ins is that, you know, they're beautiful and they're, they're fun and it's great to have long hair, but then once you are done with it, you can take them off then you have your weightless regular hair. So that's what I love about it. And I had told you guys in the beginning of this video, I feel like um, tape-in extensions are just not for me. Bellamy does offer tape-in extensions and I think that's amazing. Um, and a lot of people love having them. I just personally would rather have something that I can switch up once in a while. If I want to have shorter hair, I can have mine. And then if I want longer hair, all I have to do is pop these in. And it honestly takes me five minutes. So that's how I do this, guys. Um, if you are interested, Bellamy has provided me with a code that I will be linking below this video for their extensions and their hair tools. I am not getting paid for this video and I want to tell you guys that this is just something that I feel like I wanted to share with you guys and a lot of girls ask me this question all the time how I get my extensions in and how I style them. So I was happy to do this for you guys and Bellamy was nice enough to give us a code for this. So below is their website and the code that you guys can use to shop any of their products. Thanks so much for watching guys and thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Lots of good content, content, <laughs> content coming up. We have Mexico, my birthday, a lot of traveling. So stay tuned guys and I'll see you next time. And it didn't turn on. Awesome.